that time in any spaces where I'm talking. Good day guys, so tomorrow morning is going to be the first time I'm actually going to go out and target a lizard on a swim bait, so, or guide bait. So down from work, we've been using the Arashi Glide a fair bit. He's caught, I think he sent me about four or five big flathead that he's caught on this thing now. So I'm just going to start with the one lure. I'm not going to worry about trying to run through two, different, two or three different things or ten different things, but so I am going to make a couple of mods to this lure. I'm not going to run it straight out of the packet. Darren was running it straight out of the packet, I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to change a few little things up. There she is, out of the packet. Doesn't really look too big for a flathead. So I'm a bit undecided at the moment what to do with the hooks. So I'm definitely going to double split ring it. And first preference, I would have said I'm going to run the owner STXs in a size 2. These are what come standard on jerk boats I use for Barra, and they're super fine gauge but triple extra strong. So, as far as a flathead swiping on it or whatever, it's going to get stuck. But second choice I thought of was running a feather hook just for. I have heard it's a good idea to run a feather hook, get it bit more swaying action and gets them to commit rather than just standard hooks but the feather hooks that I have don't have they're not as nice a hook as that STX so maybe later on down the track I'll tie up some feathers onto my own STXs and, and run it that way but I think for now I'm going to set it up with the STXs and see how we go standard hooks pretty chunky rings So I'm pivot up. Takes a clip off the nose. Don't really like that. SCX in a number two. You can see the difference in the diameter of the point. Distance down for the barb to go in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run a lighter gauge split ring so that I can get away with running two split rings and not affect the action of the lure too much. I'm going to run two split rings on the belly and one on the tail. And the size two hook. Double rings on the front, single on the back. They are on swivels so it keeps it pretty loose but you can see those hooks super sticky. Barely have to touch them. Quite different to the heavy gauge that was on it. I just like to play around with all my lures anyway. So now down to the combo I'm going to throw it on. So this is an amped swim bait rod. This is a 781 extra heavy. So it's a 7 foot 8 rod, good to 12 to 20 pounds and lures up 1 to 4 ounces. So this little Arashi glide will be perfect. Easy to throw on this combo. Braid, I'm running 40 pound in the PE8 and similarly with the leader and an FC rock in 40 pound as well so shouldn't get chewed off shouldn't also cast my lures off hence why I wanted a bit heavier braid in case I get a bit trigger happy and try to go for that big full send I want to snap it off there we go all rigged up running about seven foot of that 40 pound leader we've got the double split rings on the front with the STX's 40 pound main line, just because I simply do not want to cast this lure off, especially when I'm going to be land based tomorrow. That's about it really. If you have any questions about the rig, how I'm rigging it, what I'm doing with it, just write them in the comments below. I'll get to those straight away. But if you want to see how I go on my first attempt at catching a flathead, you have to catch the next video. So, thanks guys.